Well, well done, Jess. Uh, always difficult to sit around all day and have to play late at night. But I guess you, you just said to me it's difficult because you never played her before. So tell me just what was going on in the first set. Yeah, it was just awkward. Obviously, you know, haven't played each other. Um, we're, I'm sure we're both nervous. Uh, playing at night, conditions are different. It's kind of cool tonight. It's totally different than when I played here the other day. So you just kind of have to adjust and get used to it. Um, change my racket, that seemed to help. So I don't know, you just have to kind of problem solve when you're out there and um, that's kind of what I had to do tonight. What are some of the things that you feel like over the last 12 to 18 months that you've improved so much that when you walk out on a court this size, this big, that you can, that you're getting used to this? Yeah, it's weird. I never thought I'd be getting used to Ash, but somehow I am. Um, but yeah, it just comes with playing on a lot more stadiums, a lot in front of a lot more crowds. Um, thanks everyone for staying tonight. <laughs> I uh, appreciate the support. It's hard to follow Carlos. It's a tough act to follow, man. I don't know why. I, I don't think I'm ever going to do that justice. But um, no, it was great coming out tonight. And yeah, just getting used to playing on these courts. It's so much fun. We were just discussing. Yeah, I mean, they appreciate you, right? We were just discussing that you're actually playing mixed doubles tomorrow, third on. Why is it that you have chosen, you and Coco, although Coco lost in uh, mixed today, so you've got one up on her still. But why do you choose to play singles, doubles, and mixed? I mean, this is what we used to do in the 70s because we didn't make any money. But, I mean, why, why are you doing this to yourself playing so many events? Okay. You know what I'm going to say. Austin and I haven't won a mixed match in like two years. So I hope everyone can come out and support us because we're trying to get a win. So to be honest, I haven't played that many mixed matches because we keep losing. We made semis here like two years ago and since then just no wins. So hopefully we can try to get a win. But no, I honestly like love coming to play on off days. I think it's great practice. It's time to work on things. It helps me stay competitive. Um, you know, I feel like waiting around a lot of times your anxiety builds up because you're just thinking about your match. And I like that I can go out and stay competitive. And as long as I'm feeling good. Um, but yeah, well, <laughs> we're not the greatest mixed players. So we're just going to try and go out there and have some fun. <laughs> All right, I'm going to switch you back for the last question because it's late and I know you want to get out of here. You've got to play tomorrow. You've got Alina Svitolina next. The last time you played, it was a great match in Washington, D.C. Just your thoughts on playing Alina. Yeah, <sighs> Alina is so tough. I feel like every single match we play is always just a really good battle. Um, I feel like we kind of play into each other's games where we make each other play better and we always just have really great matches. So it's great to see her back playing at such a high level so quickly. Um, you know, I just played her a few weeks ago, so it's, it's going to be very tough. Ladies and gentlemen, your number one American right here through to the next round, Jessica Bagula.